when I find a piece of art that I love, it is exactly how a crackhead feels when they are using crack. I think I've always been a collector of everything in general and nothing in particular. Who are you wearing? Oh, David LaChapelle? This is Paul Smith. It's like, what do you want to be? Are you going to be a fashion stylist? Are you going to be an interior designer? Are you going to be an art collector? And I like to be everything. When I finally discovered that I had all these intersections in my wardrobe and my art collection, I thought, that's insane and very, very me. My boyfriend and I were going out. We took a selfie to InstaTweet, Instagram. And the shoulder of the jacket just skimmed across the print in the photograph. And I thought, oh, that's weird. They're so similar. Glitter, glitter, dots, dots. Get it? And then I have this Rick Owens jacket that I wear all the time. Frank Thiel, Rick Owens. You have to wonder when you see it. It's like, I wonder if Rick Owens knows who Frank Thiel is. And I also think the opposite. Like, I wonder if Frank Thiel knows who Rick Owens is. And then it got me thinking. So I started walking through the house and looking, and I'm like, oh my god, I have. Like, I looked at the Mark Shankman, and I thought to myself, that's Mark Shankman, and this is Alexander McQueen. I have that Alexander McQueen jacket from that smoke collection. I was not purchasing a piece of art because it matched my clothing. I was just buying things that I loved. This is the Candida Hoffer Hall of Mirrors in Versailles, and this is the Dolce & Gabbana jacket. I love the Hall of Mirrors, and when I walk through it, I think to myself, who cleans all these mirrors? I can't get my bathroom mirror clean. Japanese artist Katsuya Aoki does these incredibly detailed, magnificent porcelain skulls. I see it every day, and I looked at it and I thought, oh my god, I do have a sweater that matches that from Lucien Pelafine. If you knew that the artist was inspired by the designer or vice versa, then you have an explanation to how it happened. But when it just is happening, it means that these creative people are all tapping into the same collective unconscious. Sharon Kaur, Dolce & Gabbana. You're definitely seeing intentional intersection of art and fashion. But mine is unintentional. They're not collaborations, with the exception of one. Neil Barrett, Dan Tag. I owned the Dan Tag image love and hate before I purchased the Neil Barrett shirt. I remember the order that that happened in. But when I bought the shirt, I had no idea that it was a collaboration. Do you come to this painting often? What I love about art is that you live with it day in and day out. I have never wanted to get rid of any of the art I own. I always want to get rid of the clothes I own. What's fascinating about the intersection of art and fashion to me is that these are two of the greatest keepers of time. These two space, these two ideas, you know, fashion and art, catalog our history and are the reference points when cultures talk about themselves and explain other cultures. These are the two spaces that people turn to. They turn to art and they turn to fashion because they tell every story.